कॉपीज हेलो माई नेम इज श्रुति गर्ग वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल कॉप बेस टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द रोल ऑफ एन जी टी इन एनवायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन ड्यू टू द रेपिडली ग्रोइंग एनवायरमेंटल कंसर्न इन द कंट्री एन जी टी वॉज फॉर्म इन टू थाउजेंड टेन अंडर द एन जी टी एक्ट फॉर इफेक्टिव एंड स्पीडी डिस्पोजेबल ऑफ द केसेज रिलेटेड टू द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड अदर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज टू गिव रिलीफ एंड कंपनसेशन फॉर एनी डिस्ट्रक्शन टू द पर्सन एंड प्रॉपर्टी and to handle the various environmental issues that involve multidisciplinary issues now the question is who can approach ngt for environmental protection let's understand the ngt also works on the principle of polluter pays and sustainable development any person seeking relief and compensation for damage related to the environment involved in the subjects of legislation mentioned in the schedule 1 of ngt act 2010 may approach the tribunal but do you know what are the laws listed in the schedule 1 of the ngt act let's understand ngt has the right to hear all the civil cases related to the environment that are linked to the implementation of all the laws which is listed in schedule 1 of the ngt act 2010 rs follows the water prevention control of pollution act 1974 the air prevention control of pollution act 1981 The Biological Diversity Act 2002, the Environmental Protection Act 1986, the Forest Conservation Act, the Water Prevention Control of Pollution Cess Act, the Public Liability Insurance Act. In view of the above, NGT has not been vested with the power to hear any issues relating to the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 and the Indian Forest Act 1927 and laws enacted by the states relating to the forest tree preservations, etc. So now let's understand how NGT was formed in India. Expansion of industry and the beginning of developmental activities in the country. A large number of environmental matters or issues have begun to come up. There are several cases in which these human activities cause damage to the environment that cannot be recovered like Bhopal gas tragedy. The Supreme Court highlighted difficulty faced by the judges in adjudicating complex cases and emphasize the need to set up a specialized environmental court in the year 1992 the united nation conference on environmental and development was held in rio de janeiro where india pledged to provide judicial and administrative remedies for the suffered victim due to the different pollutant and other environmental damage continuation to that pledge in the year 2010 the national green tribunal was established under ngt act 2010 it has also replaced the national environmental appellate authority now let's discuss the benches of the national green tribunal in india india became the third country in the world to set up this specialized tribunal for the environment after australia and new zealand Due to the enactment of the NGT Act, there are five benches located in India: New Delhi, which has been chosen as the principal bench or headquarters of the tribunal; Bhopal as central zone; Pune as western zone; Kolkata as eastern zone; and Chennai as southern zone. Addition to this, chairperson is the head of the tribunal that sits in the principal bench and has at least ten judicial member and expert members. Next, we will discuss about the judgment taken by the NGT for environment protection the landmark judgments taken by the NGT for environment protection that created history are as follows the case mentioned in judgment samir mehta versus uoi and ors judgment taken by the NGT that respondent was asked to pay compensation of rupees 5 crore under maritime zones act 1976 The next case is Almitra H Patel versus Union of India and ORS. Judgment taken by the NGT on strictly implementation of the Solid Management Rules 2016, a complete prohibition on the open burning of waste on land. So let's understand the difference between NGT and CPCB. The fundamental difference between NGT and CPCB are as follows. NGT established by an Act. 2010 where cpcb was created by executive order of the government in 1974 ngt is specialized judicial body while cpcb is a statutory organization ngt provides effective and speedy remedies in cases related to the environmental protection and conservation of other natural resources while cpcb works to advise the central and state authority on matter related to prevention improvement control and abatement of air and water pollution Now let's discuss what are the powers and jurisdiction that comes under NGT. 
In the past few years, the NGT has developed a statutory organization for the regulation of environmental and past strict orders on issues such as pollution, deforestation, waste management, etc. The major powers are as follows. The establishment of NGT took away the right of the civil court to declare cases regarding environmental issues. So now it's a compulsory to file the case before the NGT. Even a PIL cannot be filed in the state high court as well as environmental litigation will be dealt with only by the five benches of the NGT. All the principles such as sustainable development, precautionary principle, the polluter pays and are considered by the tribunal before deciding any case. It ensured the strict observation of EIA process to ensure proper implementation of environmental related laws that are listed in the Schedule 1 of the National Green Tribunal Act. Now, what really happens when one non-complying with these orders? Let's understand. NGT is strict in cases of non-compliance with its orders. It can cause a penalty which can impose imprisonment and three years and a fine of rupees 10 crore which may also extend. As we have seen, the major role of NGT in environment protection is to protect and fulfilling the sustainable development goals of a clean environment due to its expertise in the environmental domain, NGT process environment related cases in a swift way and lessen the burden of court. So if you are looking for the assistance of certified consultant that can help you with the incorporation of updated laws or order released by NGT related to the protection of the environment in your EIA and other related report, you can connect with our expert at COPBIS with the details below. We help our client with all environmental services related to their project. Please like and share if you found this information useful. You can also subscribe to our channel and visit our website which is mentioned below. Thank you for watching.